Transferring items between warehouses is a common practice that is made easy in SageMass 90 and Mass 200. This is true whether you've segregated multiple areas within a single warehouse or you have separate physical warehouse locations. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through the process of moving an item from one warehouse location to another. So let's get started by going to our task menu tree and select Modules, Inventory Management, Main, Transaction Entry. Opening Transaction Type, you can see that there are several options. We're focusing on transfers, so we'll make that our selection. Clicking the number icon automatically enters the next entry number and the transaction date defaults to the module date. Now we'll select the warehouse that we're transferring the inventory from. Clicking the lookup shows all of our available warehouses and we'll select our central warehouse. This is the warehouse that we're moving the items from and it cannot be changed later during line entry. Next we'll select the warehouse we want to transfer the items to and here we'll choose our west warehouse. Now let's move to the lines tab to enter the details of our transfer. We're going to transfer two items and using the lookup, we'll select the first item which is a desk file, item code 2481-5-50. And we'll enter one for the quantity that we're transferring. This item has a valuation of lot, so the lot slash serial number distribution window opens automatically. Here we're required to assign the specific lot being transferred. We'll click the lookup to view available lots and quantities on hand. Let's select lot March 10. Notice that the available quantity is displayed and the quantity being transferred is automatically entered in the distribute field. The distribution quantity can be changed if items are being transferred from different lots. If we had selected a serialized item, we would follow similar steps. Now let's click OK and move on to the next item that we need to transfer. Here we'll scroll down and choose a set of casters, item VOG-CM-Casters, and we'll enter quantity of two to be transferred. Note that if an item being transferred is going to a warehouse different from the one specified on the header tab, you can change the to warehouse in the secondary grid for each line item. Now that we've selected all items to be transferred, we'll click the Accept button to continue. Now we'll click the printer icon to print the inventory transaction register. In our example, we'll preview the report to verify the transfer information. All looks correct, so we'll close the preview window and click Yes to update the register. And we'll click Yes to print the daily transaction register and then preview to view it. In our example, we have a different GL account associated with each warehouse in our system. The daily transaction register will debit and credit the from and to warehouses accordingly. Moving on, let's close the preview window and hit yes to update the register. And that completes our tutorial on transfer of items between warehouses in SageMass 90 and Mass 200 ERP. Give us a call if you need assistance with this or any other feature in your SageMass 90 or Mass 200 system. Well, that's it for this tutorial. Bye for now.